What's up guys, this is your man Git K once again. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to edit a male portrait right in Photoshop. So without talking much, let's dive right into the video. So this image right on your screen right here was shot with the Canon US6D and then with just a two light setup. So let me open the file info. Yes, the Canon US6D and with just a 50mm lens. Yes. Okay, so let me explain a little about my lighting setup so this white um, reflection right here was the key light and then the one on the side was the rim light or side light as you may call it and then i shot this on the uh a canvas backdrop yes just to reduce much stress on my background work compared to the seamless paper backdrop yes so let me take this off and then let me show you how to retouch a male portrait in photoshop so we are going to use my advanced kit k retouching pack which is going to make your work faster and also look very neat so this image is an 8-bit image i'm going to use the fs 8 bits and once you click on it it's going to ask you for a blur radius so i'm going to input 7 because it's a guy we are retouching over here we don't need too much smoothness so i'm going to click on ok and we want more textures as well yes so once the action plays it automatically selects your mixer brush for you you can apply my brush settings over here and make sure if you are retouching on the empty layer make sure you are or you've turned on the sample all layers box and if you are retouching on the low layer make sure you've turned it off so without any further ado Let's dive into retouching. Yes. So I'm going to turn off the FS high so we can brush very neatly. I'm going to zoom out a little, increase on my brush, and then brush very well. And we make sure I'm using a clean brush. Yes. So after every click, the brush becomes clean. Yes. So if you increase your brush size way too big, that means you know how to control your brush very well. And I've done it for some time now, so I can say, yeah, I'm, I'm okay with that. And it helps you cover up a very large space in a few seconds. So you, you can know that you finish early. It's all you retouch faster. Yes. So if reducing or zooming in works for you, you can do that. Yes. So once I'm done with the forehead, I'm going to turn on the high layer for you guys to see what we've done so far. Yes. So if you are doing retouching or when using the mixer brush, you increase, decrease, increase, decrease the brush size until you are done, depending on the area you are moving the brush to. Yes. So when I zoom out, it helps me know where to brush and other stuff. I'm going to turn on the high first layer. And this is what we've done basically before and after, before and after. You can see we've done the retouching at the same time with retained textures. This is a male and we don't need too much smoothness on the skin. Yes, we need to keep the textures as it is. Yes. So I'm going to turn off and then we can proceed. So let's do the eyebrow. Yes. Make sure when you are brushing, you don't mix mid tones, highlights, and shadows all together. Brush them separately and then mix out the transition between them. That is all. So when I'm getting to detailed places, I zoom in so I take my time to do it. Yes. And then on the nose, also take your time so as you don't flatten the nose to make the image horrible or not good looking. Yes. So I'm going to do the same for this aspect. Yes. So if you want me to do more retouching videos, you guys should comment down below. Yes. 
and also i have to get a welcome mine is sports i need to, i need to get one for easy retouching yes although the process is not necessary if whether you are using a mount or a webcam, the result is what matters yes but yes though if you have it it makes it works much easier and more flexible yes so any good samaritan out there can get me one and i'll be very grateful my way of paying back is to do more educative videos for you guys yes so let me do let me turn back the high layer on and then let's see what we've done so far before this the after before after before after you see the work is not too much over here so let's move to the chest where we'll be done in a jiffy so don't put much pressure here it's a guy we don't have to smoothen out the skin way too much yes so something that is going to even out the skin tones yes yes and then you do it carefully yes And this is looking good all right so let me show you the before and after before and after before and after before and after all right once you are done using the brush let's go into using our lasso to to take out the brush strokes from the skin so i'm going to use a feather of 18 pixels so that the edges won't be that sharp so I'm going to select where I want to apply the Gaussian blade to. And also, when you are using the lasso to always stay away from edges, don't get too close. Yes. So I'm taking out those closer to the edges. And go to your filter and then go to Blair Gaussian Blair. Sorry, I've done a mistake over here. I'm going to add this aspect rather yes go to filter again blur gaussian blur and then you input a radius of 20. yes 20 works for me you can go over board to about 25 yes if that works for you yes so i'm just softening the brush strokes on the skin and then even out the retouching as well and so if you apply the Gaussian blend is too much, you can right click again and then fill the Gaussian blend by reducing the opacity. Yes. Already he has lots of textures on his face. Yes. So imagine if we over smoothen the skin, it is not going to look very natural. Yes. So you take your time to do it not too much. Just keep it natural, natural as possible. Fade the Gaussian blur again. Then on the nose, you're going to take your time. Yes. Apply Gaussian blur and then fade it to about 10. Yes. It's okay. Or even ignore it at all cost. So now let's come to the chest. And then select the chest. Yes. And then some part of the neck as well. Good. Okay, so let me show you guys just a quick before and after. Before, after. Before and after. Before and after. Yes. So this is how you retouch a male portrait in Photoshop and using my advanced Git K retouching pack. You see how fast you are able to complete this retouching? Yes. I have more and more digital assets on our digital store so you can check it out i have the link in the description below also you have a whatsapp channel uh, whatsapp group sorry and then a telegram channel that you can join and then join the community as well yes so if this is your first time here kindly subscribe like and share and also leave a comment if you have any questions reach out to me and i'm going to answer you perfectly all right 
thanks for staying to the end of this video this is my key and i'm out